is Richmond Hill. Mr. Speaker, a defense minister must ensure that Canadians' military not only defends the values for which our nation stands, but also embodies them. But under this minister, the old boys club continues unchecked. Members of the military police feel they can safely mock victims of sexual misconduct rather than protect them from it. Senior officers believe they can make recommendations about service members' conduct without taking into consideration convictions of sexual assault. Will the minister admit he's failed in his duty as Minister of National Defence. Honourable Minister. Mr. Speaker, we learned very troubling news yesterday uh, that Prime Minister Harper appointed, when, when, I, when uh, Prime Minister Harper appointed General Vance in 2015, even though that he was under active investigation by CFINIS. Now, days, a, days after the Conservatives appointed him, the investigation was suddenly dropped. Now, according to an ATIP, the commanding officer said that he was under pressure. Now, from who? at that time. Now, the leader of the opposition's opposition says he passed along the sexual misconduct allegations by General Vance in 2015, to claiming those were looked into. How is it possible that if General Vance was appointed at that time, then the, that the investigation was suddenly dropped? Thank you. Member for Aurora Oak Ridges, Richmond Hill. Mr. Speaker, justice delayed is justice denied. This defense minister failed to implement the Deschamps report, and this new review will suffer the same fate. Rather than standing for women, he has reinforced an entrenched and toxic military culture. He knew about the allegations of sexual misconduct against General Vance for three years and did nothing. His inaction has emboldened the old boys club and denied women the opportunity to be believed. Will the minister admit he has failed in his duty as Minister of National Defence. Honourable Minister. Mr. Speaker, as I've said from the beginning, that I treat all cases of misconduct with the utmost seriousness and always followed all proper processes. We actually saw the same process in 2015. So let's talk about 2015. The Harper Conservative appointed General Vance while he had an active CFN investigation looking into him. That right after that he was appointed, that investigation was suddenly dropped. And then the leader of the opposition passed along rumors of sexual misconduct that were supposedly looked into. Now, perhaps the leader of the opposition knows more than what he has uh, said so 